Hey guys, Odola here. So you want to play VR games but you can't afford a headset? In my last video I provided a method of turning your phone into a VR headset, link below. This video is a follow up to that, showing you the different controller options you have available. There are a large number of controller options available for VR setups. If you have a Google Daydream headset, then the controller from that can be used with VRidge. The same goes for Samsung phones and the Gear VR controller. But as I don't own either of these, they won't be covered in this video. Another option is the Leap Motion, although additional setup is required and the device itself is quite costly. But the two methods that I think most people will find useful is using an Xbox controller to operate the hands in VR, and using an old phone with the VRidge controller app. Let's get started with the first one. Plug your Xbox controller into your PC and open VRidge and connect to the phone that will be used in the headset. Then go to configuration and flick the Xbox controller switch. This will allow you to use the buttons and joysticks on the controller to perform actions with your hands. The position of the hands are tied to the direction of your head and you can't move the hands individually. But you are able to change the distance away from you, distance between the hands, the vertical position and the vertical rotation using the D-pad. Up and down changes the value while left and right select the position. The left and right trigger on the Xbox controllers acts as the triggers on the left and right hands respectively. Moving the left stick will move you around in the virtual space. A button acts as jump, B as crouch, X as left grip, Y as right grip. Pressing the left or right bumper then moving the right stick will change where the touchpad is being touched. This is a great option for using your hands in VR, but is limited by a couple of things. Mainly the lack of independent hand positioning, as well as how long it takes you to do anything really. If you want to solve those issues, then use this second method. Hop over to the Play Store and download the VRidge controller app. It does cost just over $7, but I think it's a fair price to pay for the functionality it provides. What this app does is turn an old or spare phone into a 3 degrees of freedom controller. 3 degrees of freedom means that it has rotation tracking but not position tracking. Rotation tracking will work fine for games like Beat Saber as you don't really need position. Once the app has downloaded and installed, then connect your headset phone to the PC and click run. Open the controller app on the other phone. It should automatically connect. If it doesn't, like in my case, open a terminal on your computer and type ip config. Look for your network adapter and remember the IPv4 address. Enter this into your controller app. And you are set up! The button layout can take a while to figure out, but once you get the hang of it, you can control a hand in VR. If you have a second spare phone, then repeat these steps to connect it as well. Now you're all prepared to play some cool games in VR. Next problem, getting enough money to play these expensive VR games. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, see you all next time.